In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an aesthetic progress bar animation like this one right here. So without any further ado, let's get started. If you're new to the channel, then be sure to subscribe now. So first of all, open the Elite Motion application and create a new project. Now let's add a rectangle shape by clicking on the add icon and select the shape right here. If you zoom in, you will see a pointer. If you drag that pointer to the right side, it will curve the sides even more, just like this. Here, I will adjust it like this. Now with the help of this pointer, move it up to convert it into a rectangle shape. Here, I am extending its size a bit more. Yeah, that looks perfect. Let's change the rectangle color by clicking on color and fill. And here, select the black color. Now let's add some stroke effect to it by clicking on border and shadow. And here, enable the stroke effect. Click on this color box and choose the white color as a stroke. Make a copy of this layer by clicking on duplicate layer. From this copied layer, disable the stroke effect. Let's change its color to green by clicking on color and fill. And here, select the green color. Now with the copied layer selected, click on edit shape and adjust the x and y values to perfectly fit the rectangle inside that white outline shape. Here x value adjusts the width of the shape and y value adjusts the height of the shape. Now it looks perfect. Now with the copied layer selected, click on fx, click on add effect and search for the wipe effect. Click on it and then click on standard settings. Here select the end property and adjust the value to 0% and add a keyframe over there by clicking on this icon right here. Now come to few frames forward and adjust the end property value to 100%. So this is what we got as of now. To make it look more attractive, let's add some glow effect to it. By clicking on FX, click on add effect and apply the glow effect. Here click on color and select the green color as a glow. Here adjust the radius value to identify something near that and adjust the alpha value to 35. Alpha value increases the opacity of the glow. So adjust it according to your needs. Now that looks good. Now it's time to add the text. Click on text and type 1% or 0% according to your needs and then choose the font and color. Here I have chosen the American Captain font and a white text color. I forgot to align the text to the center. Let me do it by clicking on this alignment icon on the top left corner. Now with the help of the move tool, place the text over the bar like this. Now it's time to add some effects. But before that, add a beat mark right where you place it that second wipe effect keyframe. Add a beat mark over there by clicking on this duration bar. And now come back and select the text layer and click on FX, click on add FX and then come to the text category and here select the count up and down effect. Click on standard settings and with the add property selected, add a keyframe at the beginning and now click on this icon to navigate to the next beat mark and adjust the value to 100. Here if I set the value to 100, it is going till 101. So let's change the value to 99 and see what happens. And so now it's stopping at 100. So that's okay for me. You can also bring this text over the rectangle to make it look more attractive. In this way, you can easily create a progress bar animation with the help of the Elite Motion application. So, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And please do subscribe if you haven't yet.